Hello and welcome back to my channel. I've been having so much trouble filming videos lately and trying to get them edited and uploaded and just nothing is working, but I'm getting ready to go to the gym and I felt like wearing makeup today and I've got a couple of new things to try out so I thought I would film a quick little video for you guys to show you um, the kind of makeup that I tend to wear to the gym. I know some people probably will think that wearing makeup to the gym is weird, but I really like it. It helps me feel good about myself sometimes and I only wear very, very minimal makeup when I'm at the gym anyway and I'm showering afterwards, so honestly, I don't really think it matters. Usually I just go in with a, a few products and that's what I'm gonna do today. And some of them are new, like these concealers. This is the new NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. I love the foundation, I've been wearing that for a while now and I really like it, so when they came out with the concealers, I was like, oh my god, I have to get these. I have two shades, I have six and four. I think I'm gonna go in with six. And they've got these like fluffy little spongy tops. I don't think they're ne they're necessary. I don't think they do anything. And you just squeeze it to get product. I'm the shade. I'm shade six in the foundation. But I also got shade four in the concealer too. Which is a shade lighter just in case this was too dark but this looks good and that's typically all where I will put concealer with if I'm just doing makeup for the gym I'm gonna blend that out with the real techniques pointed foundation brush and this is my first time using this concealer so this could go really wrong really fast poke myself in the eye. When I go to the gym I don't usually prime my face because it's just gonna get all sweated off anyway. And sometimes I do wear like a tinted moisturizer but one I'm in a hurry. Two I always seem to be in a hurry when I sit down to film a video. I hope that's not gonna be a recurring theme. One I'm in a hurry and two my skin's in a really good place so I didn't want to bother with a all over face product like a tinted moisturizer or a really light BB foundation, whatever. That concealer looks really nice. It's not super full coverage. It's um I call that a light to medium coverage, but Oh, this is shade four. I don't want to open that one yet. Might dot a little bit more on in like certain areas, like my upper lip. And my cheeks a little bit, and like above my eyebrows. Even with a heavy moisturizer on underneath this concealer, I can feel how dry my skin is while putting this concealer on. And really blending everything in. go into this other new product that I have. I haven't even opened this one yet. And this is a NYX blush. This is the Sweet Cheeks Matte Creamy Powder Blush in the shade Bang Bang. I'm obsessed with blush now, so I think I'm probably going to go. This is the shade. It's not as dark because I did swatch it, but I am gonna go in it, go in, into it with a very light hand. Like just barely touching my face. I 
looks pretty. Um, like I said, I'm like kind of obsessed with blush now, so I'm probably gonna like go on a big blush bl blush buying kick. There's a couple of things that I almost always buy when I go shopping for makeup, even if I don't need them, which I need to get better about not buying things that I don't need. And that is lipstick. I almost always walk away with new lipsticks. I know that probably looks weird, but it gives a little bit of shape to the eyes without me having to do anything else. I love that color. I think that looks so pretty. When I go makeup shopping and I buy things that I don't need, it's either lipstick or eyeliners or duplicates of things that I have that I already like. Um, I have way too many mascaras and I really only like one of them, so I should probably just get rid of all the other ones. I'm going in with a little bit of brow gel. This is the Milk Makeup. Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Grind. Just to give my eyebrows a little something something. Because when you wear like just concealer, I think it can make you look a little washed out. And this, speaking of mascara, um, this is my favorite mascara of all time. This is the Glossier Lash Slick. Favorite mascara of all time. Best mascara to wear to the gym. Best mascara, period. I hope they never, ever, ever discontinue it. I probably need to get a new one soon. But... Sorry, I'm so scatterbrained because I'm trying to get this done and I don't know what I'm talking about. Obsessed with blush, buying things unnecessarily when I go makeup shopping. Mascara is one of them. Lipstick is another one. Blush is probably going to be the new one. But I have like a ton of mascaras that like are all kind of mediocre. I really only like this Glossier one and... I really liked the NYX worth the hype for a really long time and then I just, I don't know if it dried up on me or if I just fell out of love with it or what. A little on the bottom. But ever since I became cruelty free many, 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 many years ago, I haven't found a, this is a CoverGirl, they discontinued this, which I'm pissed about because this is my favorite lipstick. This is um, from CoverGirl, this is the Trending Demi Matte. It's just beautiful, it's just perfect. I love this lipstick, but they don't make it anymore and I'm so angry. Sorry, the mascara also has fibers in it. Um, ever since I went cruelty-free, I just haven't found a mascara that I really like. I'm waiting on Maybelline to pull a CoverGirl and just go cruelty-free so that I can just get Maybelline mascaras because when I was really little, that's what my mom used, that's what everybody used, that's what I had in my teeny tiny little theater makeup kit and it was just perfect. Okay, I think I got the mascara for that out. All right, but rambling and nonsense aside, this is the finished look. I love wearing a little bit of makeup like this to the gym because it just makes me feel really put together. It makes me feel, honestly, it makes me feel fierce just to have a little bit of concealer and color on my face and have my brows and my lashes look nice. 
little bit of something on the lips. It just makes me, it makes me feel beautiful and that makes me feel powerful. Even if I am just going to wash this off or I wasted makeup today, it's whatever. Uh, new things that we use today, makeup wise, completely unrelated to the gym. I do like this concealer upon first, and fresh, upon first impressions. This blush is beautiful. I can't wait to use that more in like a full glam makeup look. Um, I think the little fuzzy applicator things is pointless. Um, but that doesn't really bother me that it's there. The, cons the formula isn't as full coverage as I would like. It's not like the, the Jeffree Star concealers, which is the fullest coverage concealer that I've ever used, and it's amazing. Um, but this is really nice. I would call this like a, a natural medium coverage concealer. So it's great for like just doing something like this because it's going to look like skin. It's going to blend into your skin. It's not going to give you crazy full coverage. It's like, why does your under eyes look perfect and everywhere else doesn't? Um, I would call this a good everyday concealer. I, I like that. And I can't wait to play with the blush more. It's very pretty. But this is what I usually wear when I'm just going to the gym. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I'll be able to edit this, edit this video in a way that makes it a little bit coherent.